Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and we are back with a new build project. Today, we're actually going to be building a 40 meter patrol boat in Stormworks. Now, 40 meters is, of course, its length. I don't really know its beam just yet, but it should be able to have 16 crew. It's going to have 12 bunk beds, which actually is quite a lot. It's going to have three to six showers, which uh, is interesting as well. It's going to have a galley plus a seating room, of course, and bow thrusters. So that is pretty much everything that we need. It is also going to be armed with one auto cannon on the front and two smaller machine guns somewhere on the boat. So let's go ahead and start by building the hull. All right, so first things first, let's figure out how big 40 meters actually is. Uh, it is actually a very, 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 very large thing. That's 25 meters right there. If we go ahead and add, how many is it? 15 meters to that? Okay, there we go. So that is 15 meters plus 25 meters, which is 40 meters. This is how big our ship is going to be. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out what we're doing at the front to begin with. We're going to go ahead and just drag this down by a few. There we go. Obviously, the rooms down below need to have uh, actual height to them. So we're going to go ahead and get these doors, and I'm just going to go ahead and shove them on there like this. What that means is this piece is actually going to come down to here instead. There we go. So that is going to be where the floor is for that piece. Yes. All right, so grab this door. Go ahead and drop it down to there. And that's probably fine. Although, actually, the more I think about it, the less I think that makes sense. <laughs> so, let's go and delete that guy. We'll actually put a new door in here like this. And this is where the floor is going to go. Yes. All right. So far, so good. I take all of that back. I take everything back. Uh, this, of course, isn't going to go here because uh, this floor is actually going to be halfway up this floor, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, uh, what we do from here is we actually build this in really quickly. We do this across the top or whatever. We get ourselves a door again, of course. And we shove said door onto here like this. Aha! There we go. Alright, that works. Yes. So, the floor is actually going to go here. Sure. All right, so from there, we are going to go ahead and do this. We're then going to get ourselves another door, shove that straight onto there like that. And then, of course, we're going to have to have a floor uh, underneath there. So, actually, it's this one. There we go. Then shove this guy onto there. That's awesome. And then this is where that floor is going to go. All right, cool. Okay, so at the front of the ship, let's go ahead and do this type of dealio right here. Very nice. We then... Oh, you know what? Actually, we can go further down with this one. All right, grab that guy. Shove it on there like that. Very nice. We're then going to shove maybe just like three of these guys onto there. And then we'll go into this guy instead. Just one of those and one of these. Aha, there we go. Send that underneath. Obviously, our fuel tank can go down there somewhere and that'll be fine. All right, so what that means is the deck at the back is actually going to be at this level. So let's go ahead and drop that down to there, deleting this guy. There we go. Uh, we are going to send this bit backwards a little bit more as well, and just send it up from there. There we go. So, this is going to be like the galley and the seating area and stuff like that. We're then going to have a wheelhouse slash bridge up here somewhere, so we'll end up building that in. Down below the deck, we're going to have all of the beds be down here, as well as the shower rooms. And, of course, the engine room is going to go back here somewhere. All of that should work out, I think. Okay, so this is where we are currently at. So I've gone ahead and done this on the back end. I do kind of like the way this looks, but I think this is going to have to change a little bit. Um, honestly, I wish we had 1x8 blocks, because that would make this look a lot nicer. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking we actually delete this and a little bit of this. And instead of doing all of that, we actually just send this up. All right, so sort of just like this. There we go. Uh, we are then going to allow it to go out a little bit further, just like so. There we go. And that's fine. So this goes all the way backwards to there. Engine room is still going to be in here. And then obviously the propeller is going to go down below and poke out here. That will be fine. As well as rudders as well. We can sort this out. All right. So from here, I think we're going to go ahead and add a wheelhouse to this. I don't really know whereabouts the wheelhouse should go or what it should even look like. But we need to add it somewhere. So I'm thinking somewhere back here. We go one, two three, four, there we go, and we essentially just add another set of this down to there like that. Yes! 
All right, cool. We'll then add a helm just because we can. So this guy is going to go in here somewhere. That's fine. And then we need to build some windows and stuff around there. So I think that is somewhat what we're going for. However, I am going to cut this and I am going to move it backwards a little bit, actually, to around here instead, I think. Yeah, so it's actually a lot further backwards than forwards. And we're going to paste that directly onto there. Okay, so I might have to get rid of some of this. I might have to extend this bit backwards as well as this bit backwards just a tad. And we can attach that to there. We can go ahead and attach this down to here. We can then merge these guys together. And there we go. That is the shape of our ship. Okay, so I was actually going to go ahead and build uh, the actual hull the way I would normally build the hulls. But I've decided against that because I want it to look a little bit nicer than normal. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and extend it outwards. And what that should do is actually give us a really nice shape to the front of our hull. Uh, which is definitely, definitely happening right now. Look at that. That looks so much nicer. We're then going to extend all of these forwards as well, and we'll do the same sort of bow we did on our other ship, where we just extend it down and round it in. Then we can actually get the shape right, and everything looks cool. Alright, so I actually completely redesigned the front of this to look a lot more pointy. I just feel like the pointiness actually just adds to it, and I feel like that does look a lot better. So, what we'll do from here is we'll actually extend these guys up the sides, and that looks sick. That actually looks like a really cool bow. I like it. Uh, we are going to be extending it up a little bit further, just because uh, I want to. Uh, I want to have the front bit look a little bit nicer. So we're going to do that right there. I don't know whether having all of this on here is actually a good idea or not. Um, because this actually brings it to a point that I'm not sure I like. I actually don't know if I like this bit. But we'll shove those guys onto there. And it should be fine. It should be okay. Let's go ahead and do that as well. There we go. And that's awesome. So from here, I'm actually going to go ahead and extend it backwards as well. And we'll go from there. And this is where we are now at. So just to show you guys uh, what this looks like with color, I guess, we're going to go ahead and paint this a little bit. And hopefully uh, we can make it look nice. Okay, so I painted it blue, but you can't really see it, unfortunately. But it is there, so hopefully you guys can sort of see that. All right, so there we go. There's the back of the ship sort of added in, as you guys can see. It's got a bit of a weird uh, weirdness to it, but that's okay. Uh, I believe we will be removing some of this anyway. Uh, to install some sort of weird ramp. We might build a rib for this, we might not build a rib for this. I'm not so sure just yet. Okay, so this right here is supposed to be our deck level, and as you guys can see, our hull isn't actually anywhere near that. We need it to actually get up to it, and then go past it by at least three. So I'm gonna quickly do that, and hopefully it'll look nice. I've had to redesign the bow just a little bit, because as you guys can see right here, it was it was just not pointy enough. And now I've made it a little bit more pointy, which sort of suits the patrol boat look. So that's why I've done this. What I then want to do is actually increase the height of this by about three, uh, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and do that, that, and that. Um, and then we can build it in from there. Main reason for this is so that we actually have a room, or some room, to stand in right here. And there we go. So it still looks a little bit too pointy from this point of view, but everywhere else it actually looks fine. I think the width of this is about right as well, so we're gonna keep it as is. And there we go, that is the bow sort of built. I don't know whether it should be slightly wider. Let me go ahead and have a quick little Google. Okay, so at the back, we're going to go ahead and build this in really quickly to here. That is where our wall is, of course. We're then going to go down and into there and build these guys in. One, two, three, four. Excellent. We're then going to go down into here as well and do one, two, three, and four as well. Right there. Okay, good. So if we now put this guy onto here like this, that's all fine. And I guess we can actually just do this guy as well. There we go. So the back of the boat is built in. Yes, we're now going to go ahead and actually just build in the rest of the deck, I think. So do this to here. I kind of want a door or something right here uh, in order to actually get in and out of this piece, which I suppose is fine. So that's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's going to go in there like that. And that is a okay. All right, good. Yes, so far, so good. Uh, down the side of here is where we'll actually be able to walk, if that makes sense. And that's fine. On the front of the ship, I'm going to go ahead and do this across. There we go. Very nice. And I actually really want to add some sort of 
boundary to this. Kind of like this guy. There we go. Sort of like that. Uh, which will make it look a little bit nicer. We can then attach these guys together. We can attach these guys together. And I'll have to figure out something with this shaping that we'll do very soon. But for now, let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, I'll fill in this little piece right here. And we'll do this guy from there up to there. And we'll connect all of those guys together too. Okay, so far, so good. It looks a bit weird, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so from here, we're going to go and extend this guy out. There we go. We're going to do this down to there. We'll attach these guys together as well. And that is A-OK. -okay. I mean, to be honest, that makes it look very, very strange. But if I can make it look right in the end, that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, so what if the door for this actually goes a little bit further this way? Let's say around here. I just think it was a little bit too far forwards at that point. It removes a lot of the ship that we actually really need. So let's go ahead and merge these guys back together. There we go. Or the internal space, I should say. We'll go ahead and send this across the top. We'll go ahead and do the side pieces up to there. And also actually backwards to here. And we'll do this guy across there too. Yes. All right. Yeah, that looks a lot more proportioned. That's actually really good. All right, delete these guys, and we'll actually have this go in line with this. So delete those and send them down to there. And that is A-OK. -okay. At the rear of the ship, we're actually going to have to increase the height of this, because at the minute it's only one tall. We're going to go ahead and make it three tall at least. It might even go up to four, but go ahead and attach those onto there for now. Do this across the back end, and just fix these guys in too, because I can. So there's those, and there's those. Okay, shove that into there. Beautiful. Alright, so it does look a little bit strange as of right now, but I think once we start building on it a little bit more, we can make this look way better. And there we go. That is what the ship currently looks like floating. It does obviously have some weight issues. We will uh, clearly try and sort those out. Uh, yeah, overall, I actually really like that. Okay, so this is what the ship looks like out of the water, as you guys can see. So, uh, yes, it is going to be relatively easy to actually stabilize this thing, I do believe. Uh, it's going to be buoyant enough, definitely, for the one gun on the front, which is going to be a auto cannon, and the machine gun as well. Of course, there's going to be one machine gun on the back too, because we can. There is enough room here for a rib. I might end up building one and adding it on. We will have to wait and see. But yes, the ship hull as it stands right now actually doesn't look too bad. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I think I really like it. So yeah, there you go. I've decided at the rear of the ship, I actually want to go ahead and delete a few of these little holes. And essentially these little holes are going to be... Um, hold on, I did that wrong. Uh, these little holes are just going to be filled in with some railings. Uh, but essentially, it just adds a little bit of detail back here that I think we are somewhat missing. So, we're going to go ahead and paint all of the interiors of these, because I can. There we go. And, in fact, I'm just going to go, go ahead and jug it. I think that'll be fine. There we go. Do that. And this, and this, and this, and this one, and this one. Yep, there we go. All the way down to the back end. In fact, all of the interior of this needs jugging anyway. So we need to do all of that. And all of these pieces. Yes. All right, good. Uh, the interior of this needs doing too. However, it will actually paint the inside. And that's not really something I want. So let's just go ahead and do this across the bottom. Whee! And then I think we can jug it from there. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Nice. And that is now what it looks like. However, I do think that each of those is sort of weird looking. Uh, so I'm thinking we actually use a double one. There we go. And we shove them onto here like this. So uh, different to each other because they go back to back. If that makes sense. That guy's going to go in there. That one's going to go in there. And these ones in here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. And I've gone ahead and done the same thing on the front of the ship. Essentially, this just sort of, like, uh, minimizes how flat this edge is, because realistically, it's very, very flat. But, uh, yeah, it minimizes it a little bit. So that's kind of cool. I've also decided to add these three small holes at the front of the ship, because I believe they look pretty good, too. So, yeah, overall, I actually really, really like this thing. Okay, so the next thing that I want to work on at least a tiny bit right now is I want to put a door into this that allows us to come from the inside, which is this bit, to the ex uh, the exterior on the front. So obviously we're going to need some steps in there, so we'll shove those at the bottom of these stairs, and that'll be pretty good. Here we go. All right, so shove that into there. Very nice. We're then going to have to put a floor underneath this, 
And essentially, we're going to have a way of getting from there up to here. All right, so there we go. I've got some stairs down to the doors that will allow us into the ship on the front edge. And in fact, onto the front deck as well. What we're also going to do back here is actually introduce these guys. And essentially, what this is going to be is where the gun is mounted to. The gun is going to go directly on top of this. Now, I don't actually like the way this looks. So what we'll end up doing is this. There we go. Shove these guys up to there, which is the right height. That's good. And just box this off on the front. There we go. All right, nice. So the gun is going to go mounted straight onto the top of this. And that should be pretty nice. Okay, so as for the rear of the ship, we're actually going to go ahead and allow this to be built out by like two or so, like this. There we go. We're then going to actually extend this guy backwards from there, upwards like that. And yeah, that's how we're sort of going to leave that bit of the hull. Uh, it looks a bit weird, but it does give some coverage for this guy, uh, this walkway. And it also allows us to step on the top piece, which, you know, we might need to do. Okay, so I think that is actually where I'm going to leave this for the first video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's ugly? Let me know. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.